Welcome back guys in Koryamune. Koryamune is actually in uh, Elafonisi Street with morning I run with the new Adios 7 10 kilometers for minute 15 second uh, per kilometer pace and uh, I had really good impression now rest here in one of the beautiful beach in Crete right Alessia <laughs> let's see how it is by the way, I will run other few kilometers in the Adios 7 and uh, I'll let you know. But first, I believe the swimming gear is more than appreciated, I would say. You can find the video review of the Adios 7 in the link up here. Let's see how much it will cost. <laughs> I can uh, put the drone in the hair. Do you like? <laughs> yeah, it was. Uh, uh, we are close to Lacanea. Uh, we took an hotel close to Lacanea and it was kind of uh, 60 kilometers far from Lacanea, more or less. 70 if we start from Lacanea because we are 10 kilometers far from Lacanea uh, towards this direction. So if you uh, book an hotel uh, from Lacanea, then you have uh, 17 kilometers to, to get here. Not sure if the camera can give you the same feeling that I have here. Huh? Quite amazing. Look at that. In as well. And also here, yeah. Thumbnail time, guys. Like that. Good. Let's continue. This is the pinkish scent is one of the specificities which composed the natural miracle called La Funisi. If each visitor claims even the minimum amount of scent in their pocket, then they are each of them to blame for the design of this uniqueness. I agree. I totally agree. Next to El Aponisi, there is a lovely monastery uh, which is worth to visit. Uh, the uh, Pisos Calitisa Monastery is a 17th century Eastern Orthodox Christian uh, monastery located uh, on the southwest coast of the island of Crete. The monastery lies about uh, 72 kilometers uh, in the southwest of uh, uh, Cania. Uh, built up uh, on rocks uh, 35 meters uh, above the water, it overlooks the Libyan Sea. Walking in the shallow. Uh, this is one of the beautiful beach harbors I've ever seen so far. 
Balos is famous for its Turkish uh, waters, the wild natural beauty and uh, the beautiful uh, southern scenery. During the summer, uh, it's visited by thousands of people uh, who arrive mostly by ferries uh, running from uh, Kisamos port. If you don't like uh, crowds, uh, you better avoid to visit the beach in July and August. Uh, also, a perfect idea is to arrive at Balos in the morning before the boats arrive from uh, Kisamos. These few hours of remoteness in such place uh, will remain etched in my memory forever. Wow, guys, that's look a lot of stairs. There is a Venetian monastery there. I believe he's up there and this is hard the stairs to do and uh, all the people so should I do that or not <laughs> let's do it let's see up there okay hopefully <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Well, the uphill was really crowded. All the people coming uh, with the boat and uh, the stairs were in a gravel path, very slippery. So nice. trekking shoes are highly suggested. Oh. Not sure what this is here inside. Let's check it out. Oh, very nice, huh? Very nice. And what on the other side? So guys, it was even worse than doing intervals training. I'm spreading everywhere, but look, it's amazing. Early in the morning today, even earlier than usual. Uh, I hope I will manage. The main attraction of Palasan are the super superb sandy beaches and uh, the crystal clear sea. It consists of several sandy beaches of various lengths, all facing the west, uh, which make it a wonderful place to watch the sunset from. The sea is generally very clean and uh, with lovely corals because of the sandy bottom. And not only, Palasana is famous uh, for the jet ski safari too. I hope guys you enjoyed it. Don't forget to leave a like if you like this content. It will help the video to be triggered by the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe if you haven't yet. And as always, as always, thanks for watching and till the next time, keep running.
see 